Boom! What's up, y'all? It's your boy Carcino here. The one who loved to say, I told you so. Nick Cannon was on DJ Vlad talking about a host of different, you know, topics before he was the turban guy. He was the uh, fun-loving Nick off all that on Nickelodeon. Then he went to Wildin' Out. Had hit records with R. Kelly. But Nick could rap. A lot of you guys probably didn't believe it. But he was on DJ Vlad talking about his conversation with Drake during the Meek Mill situation. And the fact that Drake, he believes, is a great writer. He could best Drake if they were to battle. And I agree. See, when that whole thing with Eminem happened with Mariah, and Mariah was his wife, and he dissed Nick, and Nick was ready to give it to him, Nick had some bars for him. And I told you, Nick was ready. Nick ain't going scared, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to tell you, that's just what it is. He wasn't scared. So, the situation wouldn't have probably been best for Nick career-wise. You know, choosing to go after Eminem in a rap battle situation would not have been healthy for his career. He would not be on a platform he's on right now on MTV again if that was the case. So the smarter decision was to let, let it ride and take care of it quietly. So, but for those who just don't know, for the general public... <clears throat> He would give it to Drake. If Nick Cannon and Drake was to sit there on this stage on Wild and Out or anywhere in the world, face to face, they got to go at each other. That's a dunner. <laughs> that's easy money. And anybody want to bet it, let me know. I got Nick Cannon right now over Drake. Whatever you want to bet. No way Nick is losing to Drake in a freestyle battle. Wouldn't happen. So let me know what you want to run. <laughs> Bet whatever. I'm out.